Contrary to the out of Africa theory, Stan Gooch proposed that our real ancient ancestor was the gibbon and that the, something similar to the gibbon, a common ancestor with the gibbon was probably found across the whole terrain where primates are found. So ranging from Africa through to India and Malaysia and Borneo, the Malay Borneo Peninsula. Gibbons are a lot closer to humans than chimpanzees are. Gibbons sprint, they can run the furthest of all the primates on two legs. Gibbons spend a lot of their time on their feet. They perform uh, a movement which is known as brachiation, which is how they travel through trees where they swing their arms forward like this. And if we was to take a gibbon and lay him on his front, this motion of brachiation is not much different to the human motion of swimming, which is the arms going in front of you like this. So one of the things that Stan proposed is that perhaps the, this motion in gibbons is the natural precursor to swimming. And we find swimming in humans is selected in different groups, so some groups are better at swimming than others. The motion of brachiation insists that the, the, the body itself has a straight spine that hangs downwards, um, which um, gives the body a better ability to be able to stand upright. So gibbons can run. So with the gibbon, um, we have a candidate for a pre-human that precludes having to go through a quadrupedal stage, which is what Darwin suggests, is that, is that in, the, in the ascent of man, we see the quadruped here, and then we see the movement to bipedalism coming in this, in this sort of sequence of, uh, of ascension. What Stan proposed was that with the gibbon, we don't need to go through the quadrupedal stage. We, because actually before the quadruped, it's generally accepted that, that the first early primate ancestor was bipedal. Uh, which is something like Ramapithecus, and then that goes into a quadrupedal stage and then goes bipedal again. But what Stan suggests is that we don't have to go through this quadrupedal stage, we just stay as a biped from Ramapithecus to a gibbon type ancestor, and then a long line of, uh, of, of bipedalism all the way up to humans. In Stan's hybrid origin theory, Cro-Magnon was a direct descendant of this gibbon type creature that gave him an advantage in his evolution. And we see his fossil record um, representing that.